grab your butterfly and make sure you remove the labeling which includes the genus and species name and put it on the Ziploc. Otherwise it'll get wet and the ink will bleed. Take scissors and cut the corners of your butterfly packaging, taking care not to cut the butterfly. This will help moisture penetrate the packaging a little bit better. Grab some paper towels and spray it with regular water. Spray the paper towels to make them a little bit damp, but not soaking wet. And sandwich your butterfly in between the damp paper towels. Add a few moth crystals to help prevent any mold growth while your butterfly is hydrating. Allow the butterfly to rehydrate for 24 hours. Okay. So what you'll do is you'll get your butterfly out. Um, and then my, my butterfly, I decided to get one of the more expensive ones and it doesn't come with an abdomen because my specific species has very, like this oil and so they, they cut out the, ab they don't include the abdomen because it would just leak and get all over the wings. So that's why I don't have an abdomen, but I'll still be able to do everything I need to do with the thorax. So what you want to do uh, is grab, well, you're going to want to grab it by the thorax. And I remember when I was looking online, she was just kind of like making sure everything was flexible and pliable. So she kind of padded the wings and... Um, looks good so this is so especially since we're on the underside of the wings you can kind of handle it a little bit more because once you get to the top like the they have microscopic scales and the more you start messing it with it especially touching with your finger you might accidentally kind of get rid of some of the scales so definitely be careful of touching the side that we need the underside doesn't matter as much and what you're gonna do is just kind of slowly like pinch and roll the thorax to open up the wings just a tiny bit and all you got to do is get your finger down in there so that you can start gently rolling like I said to start opening up the wings you're just gonna gently roll back and forth to help them get into the flattened position uh, don't worry if you lose an antenna or a leg they'll be fine or maybe you've already lost one So I, I just call this step like just massaging just to help it stay open and get open so you're not going to have any of those creases. And when you're ready, you're going to grab one of your insect pins. There's a couple different insect pins um, in my collection and there's some with some really small heads and there's ones um, with the big black ones. If you grabbed one of the big black ones, that's going to be easier to... Um, push the whole thing down into the foam board. So grab one of the ones with the, the black head and you're going to want to go right in the middle of the thorax. And I'm gonna, I can come around and help you guys in just a second as soon as I mount the first part. There we go. And essentially, when you're ready to put it into the gutter, you're going to have to kind of like move it up and down the, the pin to decide where is it going to be. Or what you can do is maybe not put it too deep at first. And you'll 
you'll get it right in the middle and then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to push it down after you get it initially in the foam board uh, let's see there we go there we go okay so before I do the next part I can come around and see if anyone needs help you're going to want to grab your little paper, kind of get the wings down, and this is where you're going to assess, are they at the right level of the body, or are you going to have to move the body up or down? And you can, you're, you do want to get them, oh, uh, actually, let me think. Yeah, you do want to get it fairly close to the inside edge. But what you want to do is you want to pin somewhat far away because once we position them we'll pin a lot closer. So position far away just to get it, you know, down and dirty pretty quickly. So the strongest part of the butterfly is that top edge. So the, what you're going to do is just kind of use your finger to gently pull up. And then when you get better, at a better position, you'll do a pin slightly closer. Um, and that way it'll be, and you can probably remove the back pin at this point. So in this case, that side looks pretty good. So I really just got to work on this side. So again, I'm going to just use my finger to grab that top edge. I might even lift this pin because it's not as mobile. There we go. The last and final touches is you're going to want to get your antenna down to be kind of at the same plane as the wings. Um, it can be tricky if you need to come grab more pins, go ahead. I think there's a little technique called cross pin where you just have to like get it down. You can be however creative you want, whether you're pinning toward the bottom or toward the sides, just whatever it takes to make that antenna get a little bit closer to the plane of the wings. So in this case, I'm just kind of going on an angle, and I'm just going to go ahead and pin into the side of the foam board. But if it's not staying in the position you want it, you're going to have to grab another pin and do the little cross pin method. There we go. Okay. The last step is to add glass slides to help the wings stay flat as they dry so you don't get any curling. And then you're done. Let the butterfly dry for at least 48 hours before removing the paper and the glass slides.